So this is the this is the food that I cook for my dogs. It's blue homemade recipe and it has vegetables and it's made on chicken. So I grab a big chunk and then I just mix it with my the grain that my dogs have. And uh, we're gonna see how they really enjoy the food that I cook for them. Um, especially Rafa who eat this whole thing. Um, he, he will stay there for hours until I finish. And Kyla is also a fanatic of food. Uh, she was really bad at eating food. She will eat a food here and there. She will take a nap. She will go upstairs. Uh, she will eat more food. But what I do is I, I just show the animal a lot of love and I, I spend a lot of money on food for my dogs. And basically this is food that it's um, custom made for senior dogs. I don't know why they like it so much, but it's it, it also smells really good. And basically this is the secret so your dogs can absolutely 100% love the food that you cook them. And when you do that, I think also dogs notice that you're preparing a meal for them. So as we can see, we have Kyla here. She's already super excited about this. Um, Rafa's already kind of smelling around. He knows good food is coming. But I really like to also see my dogs when I'm preparing food. As we can see, Kyla, we see the animal absolutely like pretending the food is not for her. She's starting even to shake. Uh, so we can see like, if you see your dog shaking because she's so excited that you're cooking for her, that means she's absolutely smelling stuff. So I, as they smell the chicken, and the wet food i think this is the secret that you need if you want to make your dogs absolutely super happy um, with their food so basically what i do is i grab a big chunk of wet food and then i just touch each and every grain and i know it's a process that takes forever but that's the love that they want dogs can sense when you love them and they know it's a special food custom made for them and they know that it's something that you thought about them when you're cooking um, and you can see how they get excited like they know you're doing something especially just for them they know it's a weird thing to say but they know it's the food is not for you and she's even shaking right now <laughs> she's so excited um, so when you do things with love animals appreciate the meal more and then they like the meal more than any other meal because you know that you did it for them and you know that you did it with love um, so basically i try to do it with every single one of these grains and i know that takes forever um, i take a good amount of time preparing their food but when the food is almost starting to get ready that's when i know that they're gonna enjoy this meal and then they're probably gonna take a good nap with me they're both going to nap with me after this and I think this food also helps them like sleep more. Um, all these nutrients in their brain, it really kind of helps them have a really good afternoon nap. Um, and then we see Rafa, who was not very active. Rafa is 17 years old right now. And that's my favorite part of the day when he starts almost acting like a younger dog. Like, a, I don't know, like a 12 year old dog. So right now you don't see the difference between Rafa and Kyla. Usually Rafa is pretty pretty unenergetic and he, you can see that Rafa is an old dog but that all changes when you give them food so then what I do is I separate the food into two different plates one for Rafa and one for Kaida and Rafa basically has a small problem when he eats his food or I don't know maybe the problem is with Kaida because Kaida tries to steal food from Rafa so the dynamics have changed the balance of power has changed in the last few years and now Kyla does not respect Rafa anymore so that, that's becoming kind of a little bit of a problem so I have to separate them basically what Kyla thinks is that she knows food is coming and she also knows that if she is fast she will outpace Rafa um, so that's what she's planning so the dog is thinking if I eat this food in five seconds she can eat Kyla can eat a whole plate of food like this in like about 30 seconds she'll finish all of it and it's a gigantic amount of food for like a small animal to finish like in five seconds but that's what Kyla does 
So basically what I have to do, what I'm about to do right now, now that the fruit is separated, so we have, we have one plate for Rafa, which is this plate here, and we have another plate for Kyla. So what I do is I, I give the plate for Rafa first, and I put it here, and then Kyla knows that's not her plate. And then when I give Kyla her plate, she will start to eat it as soon as possible and as fast as possible. So now we see the animal, she's gonna try to eat it as fast as possible. And then what I do with Rafa is, uh, Rafa already is super excited about his food. So I just basically put his head right there in the plate and then we're gonna see it's a race between between both dogs rafa knows that he has to eat his food in a quick way um and if he doesn't kyla will eat his food so i'm just gonna show how much dogs enjoy the food when you really put a lot of love into what you do um and then kyla will start to eat and that's when sometimes i have to tap her a little bit so she can kind of relax a little bit kyla 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 um, so th this is all I do like she, she knows I'm trying to tell her like like relax Kyla relax Kyla Otherwise she can uh, probably throw up now. She hasn't done that in a while But what I really love is to see my dog He is so old right now, but when you give him food It's almost like he comes back to life. I don't know how else to explain it um, We can see that Kyla is uh, dog that eats in an abnormally fast way and like she's basically almost done with her plate and the only thing she's thinking is can i eat rafa's food and the answer of course is no you cannot but then rafa on the other hand he just enjoys and savior savors every single bit of food that you give kyla is already done like she's finished already and now rafa knows that basically somebody has to protect him soon because Kyla is gonna try to eat his food, but Rafa knows he has a protector. So, <laughs> as funny as this sounds, Rafa fully knows that I'm gonna protect him and I'm gonna make sure that things are done straight and correct. Um, I can also already hear that Kayla finished her food. So what Rafa is going to do is, he knows he has a protector and he knows that I'm just gonna make sure that things are fair and square for him. So. Since Rafa is protected, Rafa is going to focus more on eating and enjoying the food. He's going to try to save your every grain that he can. And that's what Rafa is going to do. So he really puts all of his head inside that plate like there's no tomorrow. Um, Kyla is, unfortunately, I don't think she even enjoys the food. And there we go. There we see the animal trying to attack from the... Eh, eh, no. And she knows she's uh, under surveillance. She she knows no she knows she cannot do it, but she tries to get away with it. Um, she already ate enough food for her. Kyla no, but she wants to. She really wants to <laughs> kind of negotiate with me. She knows if she shows me like her cute face, I might I might say okay you can do it. But no, Kyla, it's your time. Is no, Kyla, it's your time to leave. Um, oh, that's disgusting. Um, and I really like with Kyla like he's ears like how they're kind of black a little brown I, i'm sorry and then so what kyla is going to try to do right now is like she kind of plays stupid like she knows there's no more food and she's smart enough to to know that she she cannot eat rafa's food either kyla you have to stop kyla and then she'll start kyla She's very stubborn, like she wants to eat more food. And then um, I've tried giving her like more, more food because I thought maybe it's too, food that I give them her is too little and then she'll throw up. So basically the problem that we have with the animal, the animal doesn't know that if you eat too fast, then there are consequences like you might throw up. So what Kyla is, we're, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna, we're gonna separate Kyla. So Kyla, thank you for participating in today's video and now we're gonna focus 100 on rafa and since we since kyla is gone already kyla is out of this video thank you for your participation kyla now we're gonna focus on rafa and what rafa is going to do is he doesn't care if the video is 25 minutes long he's going to enjoy 
every single one of those grains and he's just going to eat until he is happy so it's funny how these two dogs have completely different philosophies um one wants to enjoy life to the last second and that's why i love rafa so much i really like his brown ears and i really like how he he tries to also eat not as fast as possible but he just tries to enjoy the food so they're two completely different animals basically what i do is i want to make sure he eats everything of course there could be a better way i could give them food if i would have like place that don't slip but i don't have that right now i mean i have one of those but it's on the yard um but what i do and how i connect with my dog like i showed in the previous video is after rafa is finished i try to give food on his mouth like he would be like a two-week-old baby and that connects me with my dog once again so we saw rafa he was super tired this morning almost like a zombie and you would feel you you don't think he's a 17 year old now like now he's like fully full force chihuahua <laughs> uh, rafa is a cockapoo by the way um so chihuahua is just a term i used to make jokes but now we can see the animal just really grinding at that food like really it's a battle for life life or death like he wants to make sure he's basically a dog that has a philosophy where you don't want to leave any grain on the table it's kind of like when you're in a lawsuit and the lawyer tells you you don't want to leave money on the table um so maybe rafa has that lawyer mentality and he knows his food is for him now he's starting to have a f some problems with his food he's starting to sleep away um so now might be a good time for me to intervene and see if i can give him food um in his mouth so i'm gonna it's so crazy because i cannot even see the plate because his whole face is inside the plate as we can see like we can see those beautiful brown ears <laughs> and then um i've seen him almost like fall asleep after he eats mm. so we're, we're just gonna check how okay he almost finished everything so as we can see the plate rafa did a great job a great job rafa and what i do is i try to make sure i give him the rest and then Rafa already knows that more food is coming. That's why he's looking to the right. Now we can see the animal smelling. He, he hopes there's more there are more grains over there. But he also knows that he's, his dad is going to basically take care of him. So the only thing I do is I just open my hand. And then he'll eat. He'll just eat whatever I have. There we go. There we go.